are now at the Montego restaurant on Maguire Street in Sillery, and I am meeting the chef, Mr. Jonathan Jeanry. Nice to meet you. Enchanté. Enchanté. We're going to speak English. I'm going to speak English with Chef Jonathan Jeanry, and he's going to answer my question in French, and of course, I will translate for you guys. Chef Jonathan Jeanry, I would like, first of all, to talk about your experience here at the Montego because you've been part of the team here for 15 years. You started at the very beginning of your career in the kitchens here, and you've learned a lot. Oui, effectivement. Je travaille ici euh, depuis très, au moins une quinzaine d'années. Donc, euh, mon cheminement a commencé euh, presque au bas de l'échelle et graduellement, j'ai gradué jusqu'au poste de chef. And you've been chef here for the past four years? Yes, exactly. So, Chef Jonathan started here at the very beginning and he went up to finally to become the chef of the restaurant. It was four years ago. Chef Jonathan, tell me about your inspiration. Because here at the Montego, we're always talking about a sunny cooking, sunny recipes. We're almost traveling with the menu. We're going a little bit in Italy, a little bit in California, in uh, Asia as well. Where did you get this inspiration to create such a sunny and traveling menu? Ben, la, la chose la plus importante, c'est l'équipe. On travaille en équipe. J'ai une brigade qui travaille avec moi, qui, euh, qui m'aide, qui, qui, qui trouve les recettes, mm -hmm. qu'on compose ensemble. Tout est un travail d'équipe à bord. Ensuite... Euh, Let me translate that first. The, the most important thing is the teamwork. Um, Chef Jonathan Jeanry is working with people, a lot of people. I think you told me around 15 uh, people here in oui, the kitchen. Oui, exactement. It's a big team and they always get together to exchange ideas. So they, they share the inspiration to create and to recreate, reinvent the menu. Exactement. Et bien sûr, euh, de nos jours, il y a Internet qui aide beaucoup. Faire la recherche, les livres, les revues. Mm. Nowadays, Internet helps a lot, of course, magazines, books pour suivre les, les tendances mondiales mm -hmm. et bien sûr, une de mes passions, les voyages. Ah, one passion, traveling. And of course, the menu helps us to travel, it makes us travel, but you traveled first to establish that menu. Where have you been? Where did you uh, get your secrets? Ah, J'ai beaucoup voyagé en Asie, Thaïlande, Cambodge, Philippines, et quelques voyages aux États-Unis, New York, Chicago. Toronto aussi, ou euh, en Ontario, qui sont des, des, des plaques tournantes de la, de la gastronomie. Chef Jonathan uh, traveled a lot. He's been to Asia a lot, but also here in North America, in the United States, um, New York, Chicago, in Canada as well, Toronto. Two important cities where you can find a lot of great restaurants and great inspirations, of course. Exactement. I would like us to talk about the menu now and to talk about one delicious discovery that we made here at the Montego. And it's almost a classic. I know that it's something that is very popular on the menu. It's your famous lobster risotto. Exactly. That we're going to discover in a few oh, seconds. C'est notre numéro one. It, it is the number one. The number one a dish here at the Montego. Wow, beautiful. Tell me a little bit about it, about the products, everything that you're using to create this beautiful risotto. Ben, le risotto, c'est un classique italien avec euh, un bouillon de crustacés, très léger, pas trop parfumé, faut pas que ça prenne le dessus sur le homard, mm -hmm. avec euh, du riz italien, du riz arborio de très bonne qualité. It's an Italian classic, uh, and they're using a lobster bouillon uh, to add some flavor, but the flavor is not too strong. So, of course, you get a little taste of the lobster, and as well, the rice uh, that you are using is a very special Italian product. Um, the products are very important for you, exactement, aren't they? Exactement. Les produits sont de qualité, sont frais. Uh, C'est important pour que le, le client... Uh, Ça sent au restaurant et non pas à la maison. Mm -hmm. There's something very special about the products. You need a very high quality. And you need a product that is going to be special enough so the customer feels like he's at the restaurant and yes. he's not home. And it's, it's the main point of being here at the restaurant to enjoy oui. a dish like this, 
amazing risotto. And also, I want to um, get your attention on the size of the lobster because it is big. There is lobster in this risotto. C'est la base. C'est la base du plat, le risotto. The main euh, point. Et, le risotto euh, est présent dans l'assiette. C'est la base même. You have, uh, this is the largest size. You also have a uh, half portion of oui. risotto. Oui, so it's possible just to try it, for example, oui. if we want to try a lot of things on the menu. Oui, beaucoup, beaucoup de, de demoiselles ou de personnes ayant une fin moindre prennent la, la demi portion, qui est quand même une bonne portion, faut le dire. The half portion is very popular with the ladies. Now let's talk about fish. Still, we're going to discover the black sea bass, um, which is from Chile, a beautiful, very thick fish. That, uh, you, um, that, that you like to work with, I think. Because I, it's a light fish, but light, I'm talking about the flavor, but you can add the salsa and add some in ingredients to play with the recipe, to play with the flavors. Oui, c'est important pour que le, 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 les saveurs se mélangent avec le poisson. Petite, ici, on a une salsa de type méditerranéenne, mm -hmm. tomate séchée, Uh, olive, kalamata, champignon, tuxel de champignon. You have a Mediterranean salsa with uh, tomatoes, dry, sun-dried tomatoes, uh, kalamata, um, olives, uh, mushrooms as well. And Chef Jonathan was telling me that what is interesting here is the science of mixing the flavor, working with the flavor and the fish to get this perfect balance. Exactement. C'est sûr qu'il est important de pas avoir une une saveur trop dominante mm. pour atténuer le, le goût du poisson. It's important not to get any flavor that would be too strong and then that would uh, kind of um, almost kill the flavor of the fish. It's important to keep it. Uh, of course, there is fish on the menu. There is lobster as well, but the meat is also very important. Oui. And when we discover the meat and when we discover our next dish, it is a little bit of friends that we are discovering Exactement. Here. C'est notre euh, joue de veau braisé à la bourguignonne. It's the veal cheek. À la bourguignonne. Cooked à la bourguignonne. So here you recognize friends, of course. Yeah. Euh, C'est une viande extrêmement tendre, vraiment savoureuse. Very tasty, tender meat. Euh, à, à ma connaissance, c'est probablement la viande la plus tendre, juteuse euh, qu'on puisse manger. Probably the most tender meat ever that you find here on the menu. And it's part of the comfy food. Because, of course, we're traveling through California, a sunny cooking, Italy, uh, Greece. But we also get a part of this very typical French and, uh, um, well, let's call it the Quebecers cooking. <laughs> very comfy food. And it was, it was important for you to get that on the menu as well. Oui, oui, effectivement. Souvent, les soirées plus fraîches ou euh, plus monotones, yeah. c'est plus, euh, c'est très réconfortant de, de manger quelque chose de, 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 de ouais, comme vous dites, de, de comfort food. Yeah. Dites. When it gets cold here in Quebec, there's always something to warm you up here at Montego. Very quickly, I want us to discover the sweet part of the menu because it is so important. The dessert, and I know that you have, you, you kind of reinvented two classics. So the key lime pie here exactly. that we have, beautiful. And this is the millefeuille. Oui. So millefeuille, very French pastry that we think we know, but to look at this plate, it looks very modern and creative. Oui, it's notre millefeuille, façon Montego. Les gens adorent euh, la crème, la crème poitière mélangée avec euh, la crème fouettée à l'intérieur du, euh, du pot maçon, qu'on peut dire. Et la pâte feuilletée, son, son crémage. Euh, on peut faire comme une trempette. Mm, so a little cream, so you can basically dip your millefeuille in the cream. A classic, but that they like to uh, reinvent the Montego way. And the key lime pie here, that is just so beautiful. Thank you very much, Chef Jonathan. You're welcome.